What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again for another episode of Amori. I can I can already hear the people are just like, oh why hasn't this ended yet? <laughs> but yes, don't worry. We're almost there. Almost there. I'm just going to do a few things around here and far away because I refuse to I refuse to end it off. I refuse to end off the story over there. Alright. I know you're here, Kel. Let me just turn off this live stream that I also have in the background. Alright. You're in luck, Kel. Because despite the fact that I just completed a terrible run, that doesn't mean that I'm going to do this again. If I'm being completely honest with you, I probably won't. Just because I actually enjoy a lot of these faraway segments more than I enjoy so headspace. Let's open the door, baby! Oh, my buddy, my old pal. What is up? It has been too long since I've talked with you. The actual you, that is. I spent all my time in headspace. Sir, we did actually came out, and you're gonna be a dick and be like, yeah, so I didn't have a game plan here, but... <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not that sunny right now. At least, I... If I remember correctly, what was I supposed to do? I don't remember, but there I know there's something that I, there's something I needed to do. Some point in time within these segments that basically makes it so yeah, he's not gonna let me go to hobbies first, right? Yeah, no. Actually no, I still can. I can still pick up all this trash. Anyways, what was I saying? Ah yes. I know there is something that I uh, that I need to do in order to get a different ending. Not the good ending, unfortunately, just a different ending. Because ain't no way am I satisfied with what I saw. Alright, hello there, Mincy. I remember you. Actually, no, not, not really. There's a reason why I'm talking to you, but... Yeah, the, her, her drunks can definitely sell for money. There's a reason why I'm talking for you. However, that reason isn't going to show up until... What, the final fucking day? Yeah, so, uh... No, how's it been? How's it hanging? All right, here we are in hobbies. This is going to take quite a long time, isn't it? Because I'm gonna have to go through so much text. So here we should probably buy a gift for heroes and college. Should be coming down to time. Yada yada yada. All right, come on, Kel. I I know exactly what we need to give him. All right, I I know exactly what we need to give him. That's not the right one. Fuck! Alright, so I'm taking this job over here in other mod, and I don't remember there being a fucking wasp over here. Ow! Screw you, wasp. I only remember there being houseflies. There's a whole lot of fucking wasp over here. Okay, so one of the achievements that I have to do and get is that I have to quit on the job. Now, luckily, I did manage to save before I do that, but still though, <laughs> just quitting on spot, that just seems, I don't know, that just seems a little mean, <laughs> but, don't, but don't worry, don't worry, I could just quit my job, quit my job, and then I can go back and reload my file again, and then fucking do this job all over again. The only reason why I'm doing it with Gina's is because fuck Gina's. Honestly, <laughs> fuck Gina and his stupid ass fucking handwriting. I can't believe. I can't believe he thinks he can rely on people doing his shitty job like this. Alright, you know what? Fuck you, Gina. <laughs> well, that can't be good for business. <laughs> yep, that indie cannot be good for business. What if I ask for the job again? Would you look at that? I can still ask for the job. That's even better. 
That's actually even better. Do you want to know why? Because if I fuck up a pizza, if I fuck up a pizza, I could, in theory, just restart all over again. And just do it as if nothing ever happened. Or at least I hope that's what, or at least that's what I hope can happen. Thank you very much, Gino. Don't worry, I won't fail you this time. I actually realized that there's more than one screen <laughs> on the house. And unlike you, after all the editing that I've gone through, I'm actually able to read what this says. Or at least, I hope I can. Can you find the house with the something, purple rug, and the red pickup? Okay, so you said purple rug and red pickup. That can easily be done. Purple rug, red pick. Okay, that's the one that looks like it's. That's the one that looks like it's the house. But just to make sure that I don't fuck up on anything, I'll be checking everything. All right. Purple rug, red pickup. Purple rug, red pickup. Purple red. Purple. Purple red. Purple rug. There you go. Pizza delivery. What took you so long? Gina's pizza. Gina's pizza is really slipping these days. Jeez. Against all odds, you have successfully delivered a pizza. Damn straight, I did. All right, what other shitty notes you got over here, Gino? This pizza, the house that had the green pickup and the white brick, the white brick front. Okay, green, green pickup and white brick. I need to look for a green pickup. That's the closest thing that I could see, but I need a. I'll just look for more things. Okay, so this one kind of looks like it's the one. It's a white brick front and it's a green pickup. But I also found another house over uh, on the left side. I just need to double check just to make sure. Are oh, you joking me? They both look very similar. A green pickup and a white brick front. That's a that's a truck, all right. That's a truck, and those are indeed some white bricks. How could I differentiate both? Oh my god. Green pickup and white brick front. Alright, you know what? I'm going against all odds and I'm gonna go with this one. Pizza delivery! What took you so long? Gina's pizza is really sleeping. Yo, let's go! Against all odds, I delivered a pizza! <laughs> I was low-key thinking about going with the second house because I was like, there's no way they put it on the front. There's no fucking way that they would put it on the first fucking page. The pizza guess, pizza grit, whatever. House with the girl, the girly out front. Wait, no, the girly pickup out front and the bottles by the garage. Okay, girly front and bottles by the garage. Well, this is indeed a girly pickup, a girly a car, all right, but. I wouldn't call this a girly pickup, because that doesn't look like a pickup truck, nor do I see any bottles. Nor do I see any bottles. Okay, I see bottles there. We're getting somewhere. This is a problem. This is an actual fucking problem. And the bottles by the... Not garage, garbage. So I need to find... I need to find a place where there's a pickup and where there's... Balls by the garbage. There's balls by the garbage there. By the with the girly pickup out front. That is indeed a pickup. The, the, that that's that's looking like the house so far. But I need a double check. Need a double check. See though, because the problem with this one is that there's no bottles. There's absolutely no bottles. That and it wasn't even a pickup either. So so you see. I, th I thought that that said girly, but the more that I'm thinking about it, and the more I'm starting to think it may be gray. More, and that's just how terrible this guy's handwriting is. God damn it, Gino. Alright, I'm confident in this one. Pizza delivery! Thanks? That's all of them. Did I do, did I do it? Did I do it right? 
Hey, Nobi, you're just the guy I want to see according to some recent feedback. 10 out of 10! Let's go! <laughs> Against all odds, I managed to fucking get everyone's pizza on time. And I only get $20. And since you've been such a good sport, here's another freebie. Other world in CD. Nice. Thank you very much, Gina. Holy shit, I cannot believe I was actually able to do it. Well then, not gonna lie, Gino. Can I have another job? Fuck, I already did a job today. God damn it. Would you look at that? More job wanted posters. There's a job posting on the wall. Read it. Tutor help wanted. Looking for a local language tutor for my daughter, Joy. $20 a day. Please bring this flight to my house for a quick interview. Yes, sir. Re, I'll take it. Far away town plaza, my house. All right, I got, I got you, I got you. I'll also take this one. Tutor, help one looking for a local math tutor for my son Brent. Twenty dollars a day. Please bring this flight to my house. All right, where's this one? This one actually looks a lot more nicer. I'll go with that one. I'll go with that one first. Also because math is indeed my forte. I was always a much better math student than I was a language student. English sucks. It could generally be a little hard sometimes. Math, on the other hand, it's logical. It's just logic. It's just numbers. You just plug the numbers in. It's not that hard. Pizza delivery! I mean, I'm here for the tutoring job. Well, hello. How can I help you? Here's the green flyer you gave me, or that you put up. I see. You're here to tutor my son, Brent. Hmm. There's more than one of you, but you guys look pretty trustworthy. I guess it's possible that two tutors would be better than one, as long as you, you all split the payment. <laughs> Please come in. Breton's waiting for you in his room upstairs. You see what I mean? English is hard. I can't read. I can't read for shit. Also, sorry, Kel. Not sorry. I'm not sharing my money with you. That is my money. <laughs> my money, indeed. Nice house you got here. Make yourselves at home. Breton's waiting for you in his room upstairs. All right, Brent. I am so sorry that your mother is a school principal, but no, you, you just got unlucky. Hey, you must be my new tutors. Nice to meet you. My name is Brent. Should we get started now? Of course, of course, we will get started. Oh my fucking god, Kill, really? All right, so this is a worksheet I'm struggling with. The equations give me trouble. 51 times 4. That's easy. That's 204. <laughs> That's 204. Oh, I got it. I understand now. How about this one? 5 times 3 plus 15 minus 1 plus 6 divided by 2. Okay, so 5 times 3, that's 15. So, and 6 divided by 2, that's 3. You gotta get those out of the way. So that leaves us with 15 plus 15 minus 1 plus 3. 15 plus 15, that's 30. Minus 1, that's 29. Plus 3... That is 32. 29 plus 3, 32 indeed. Oh, I got it. I understand now. How about this one? Oh my god, this one. Uh, let's see here. What you want to do is you want to add 3x on both sides, meaning that, meaning that you would cancel out uh, the negative 3x on the left side and you would add 3x, making it 10x on the right side. Thus, creating 4 equals 10x plus 24. So what you want to do there is you want to subtract the 24 from there. So subtract 24 from 24 and subtract 24 from positive 4 on both sides. And that will basically give you minus 20 equals 10x. Meaning that x equals negative 2. Oh, I got it. I understand now. Whew. I think I got a much better hang of this than before. Thank you. No problem, Brent. Oh, let's go. I'm a math whiz. Hey, Brent. How are you doing? Oh, I see you completed your worksheet. Wait a minute. Is this his mother or is this his father? I now, I, now I can't tell. <laughs> well done, Tudor. Here's a payment for your help. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, that is his mother. What am I thinking? What am I actually thinking? Oh, math. Don't worry, Brent. Don't worry. You got your tutor over here. 
You see, I can do math. I can do math on the fly, just like that. And I can, uh, explain it. Dude, what, what is going on with your house over here, Brent? I think, I think I might have a fucking heart attack if I see this many books. That's why I'm scared of libraries. There's too many books. Too many books. Let me tell you a story. I was walking back from Fix It after making a purchase with my hard-earned money. When I looked down and lo and behold, my new garden shears are missing. My new garden shears. Oh, you're the you're the lady with the garden shears. Uh, yeah. Then you should drop here. Hey, here's your garden shears. All right. And this is the language one, right? <laughs> Thick eyebrows. Hello there. What can I do for you? Here's the blue flyer. Ah, you must be Joy's new language tutors. Hmm, an interview is too much trouble. You should know second grade language, right? Uh, of course, of course. I know second grade language. Wow, I this this place actually looks kind of nice, thick eyebrows. I really like the green. Uh, not green. Fuck. Gray, gray fucking wallpaper. Yeah, not green. What the hell? So this should be in our room. Thanks for your help. Let's see here. Hello. Hello, I'm Joy. Pleased to meet you. You must be my new tutors. Should we start now? Sure, yes, sure, yes, sir, whatever. You see, I can't English correctly. Also, Kel, really, really, fucking really. You're just playing with the guitar. This is the direction I'm stuck on. Christian's giving me a little trouble. My pencil is in the table? No, because you're saying that your table, that you're, you would be saying that your pencil is inside your table, which is not true. It's at the table. I mean, depends on who you're asking, but the better question, uh, not the better question, the better answer is the pencil's on the table. Because if you're, because even if you're saying my pencil's at the table, that would, I think that would only work if you're trying to tell somebody, hey, can you grab my pencil? But again, you're saying that your pencil's on the table. It's just saying what it is. It's on the table. It's on top of it. How about this one? In the phrase, silently read your book, what type of word is silently? Well, it's an adverb. That, uh, per, it's not a preposition, and it's definitely not an adjective. It's kind of hard to describe how I know those two. It's just, just trust me on that one. You know a preposition when you know it. <laughs> Which one of these sentences is written correctly? Eggplants taste better when it is cooked. No, because that subject verb agreement, right? Yeah, yeah, subject verb. There, eggplants is plural, whereas is isn't. It is definitely tastiest than tofu. No, it, you would say it is tastier than tofu, not tastiest. I think eggplant is the better tasting soft vegetable. That's a little too wordy, but that's technically correct. Ah, okay, I see now. Thanks. I think I understand a little better. <laughs> Grammar Wiz, let's go! Hello, hello, Joy! How are you doing? Are these tutors any help to you at all? Ah, I see you've already completed your worksheet. Amazing work! You should consider tutoring full-time! Here's your payment. Thank you very much. Please come back tomorrow. I will indeed, my good sir. Alright, so I remember there's this one guy. There you go. The guy who said that he hasn't fixed his fucking pipes in forever. I'm here to check it out. Jesus Christ, dude. Fucking fix your pipes. Just a few more last minute adjustments and I can finally put this baby to rest. That still doesn't look good. Ah, the sweet sound of silence at last. <laughs> Rats. I guess I'll try again tomorrow. Here's one dollar, kids. Go get yourself some candy or something. Bro, you need to fix this shit ASAP. The fact that you have this many pipes surrounding your entire place is concerning enough as is. Also, nice washer and, and dryer machine that you got there. These pipes should not be seen like this. Now, just out of curiosity, can I go in the church? Hmm, looks like they're setting up for a sermon. You don't really want to spend your last days here hanging out at a church, do you? 
Uh, you, you, you don't know, Kel. <laughs> I mean, I still haven't... I still haven't confronted Aubrey yet, but... You don't know, Sonny. Maybe he became religious, you know? Maybe he became a, a man of God. Right. I'm in Chris's house again. Hey, fellas. How's it hanging? I gotta say, there's nothing like enjoying a long weekend with my favorite couch and my favorite show on TV. There's only one thing that's bothering me right now on this otherwise perfect day. I can't find my TV remote anywhere! I'm way too comfortable to leave this couch. If you see it, could you give it to me? Thanks, kiddos. Why, you mean this? I'll take that. You mean this? Here's your TV remote. Thanks, kiddos. Here, take some orange show on me. Alright, I'll take some orange show. Ah, if it isn't Kel and Sunny. It's been a while since I've seen you two. I hope things have been okay. My, Kel, you've grown so tall. You're basically a head taller than me. Your mother told me about your growth spurt, but it's another thing seeing it in person. I remember when I could still pat you on the head. Oh, you are such a mischievous child. Oh no, I forgot about my pie! Sheesh! Calm down there. Phew, that was a close call. Unfortunately, it's a little burnt. At the fair, it would probably rate an 8 out of 10. But I promise it's still quite delicious. Oh, don't just take my word for it. You must try it yourselves. Thanks. I appreciate it. Did you enjoy the pie? I'm working on perfecting my recipe for the Summer End County Fair. I've won every year I've entered so far. And I hope this year won't be any different. Oh ho ho! Mmm. Crust with stuffing. Elle's favorite soda, orange flavored coffee. Yeah, I still don't know how you fucking like orange flavored coffee. That just sounds atrocious. All right, Chris, I got some seashells for you. Here you go. Such a cute one. Thank you. And you're not going to do anything with it, right? You're going to tell me, hey, no peeking. Do I have any more seashells? I don't. Nice. All right, you know what? I have more than enough money to spare. All right, guitar guy, Michael, the soon-to-be traveling musician. I will indeed help you reach your goal. Here's some ten dollars. Sorry, Michael. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a dick, but I, I'm just... I, I gotta skip your song because I'm here to donate you another ten dollars. Sorry, Michael. I got ten more dollars for you. I will indeed help make help you reach your goal. Here's ten more dollars. Whoa! Thank you for everything. With that last donation, it looks like I'll finally be able to leave town. I don't think I have much to pack, so I'll probably be leaving pretty soon. I should say goodbye to everyone, but I don't even know how I'm going to break it to my dad. I'll probably let my little sister Joy know first. Oh shit! I didn't realize! <laughs> I donated 30 dollars to Guitar Guy. I didn't realize! You... Joy is your sister? Wow. I guess this town really is small. Smaller than I thought. Oh my god. I better not get to the exact same thing. A slinky. God damn it. Try my luck again. Trying my luck. God damn it. I could sell the pie. Alright, you know what? <laughs> I'll sell you the pie. Thank you very much. I'll try my luck once again. God damn it. Oh my. Alright, no, 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 no. I'm wasting too much money. I. I, I'll, I'll, I'll do it some other day. <laughs> God damn it, I just got shite. I just got fucking shite. Oh, well, would you look at that? <laughs> you can actually fucking die if you lose to Aubrey. Cool. <laughs> I guess. Well, so much for trying to stay with the knife. My, I'm guessing it's just gonna have to be done. 
yep. That is indeed a knife, Aubrey. And in no way, shape, or form am I going to be able to keep that knife. Because, well. Poor Kel just got fucking annihilated and so did Sunny. I didn't even realize it could be a game over. Jesus. Hey bub, could you spare a few nickels? Really appreciate it. Here, I'll give you $10. There we go. Thank ye kindly. Hey bub, thanks for helping me. You've been a real friend. So, I got something special for you. Hold out your hands for me and close your eyes. Got something cold on your palms. What? A gold watch? You like it? Since you've been so gracious, I thought I could spare you some of my wares. <laughs> That's real gold there, I swear it. Real gold, you say? Shiny item for your wrist. Interesting, interesting. How are you liking your new gold watch? It's real gold, I tell you. Well, I'll be the judge of that. But before I do that, I may not have any money, but at least sunlight is free. <coughs> so anyway, lads, could you spare me some change during this hard time? I'll give you $10. There we go. Currently donated $10. Thanks, good lads. I'll be sure to pay you back somehow. <laughs> Did you say you wanted 10 more dollars? <laughs> I'll give you 10 more. Still asking for more? Fine, I'll give you 10 more. It's literally all I had. All I had. Thanks, good lads. I'll be sure to pay you back somehow. Alright, buddy. Hey, Sunny. I've heard that you've been clashing with pet rocks all around town. If you want a real challenge, I know that some folks in the faraway plaza are veterans at pet rocks. Four of them, to be precise. They don't normally challenge newbies, but for you, I'm sure don't make an exception. Try to talk to some shop staff and frequent customers. Be sure you test your strength. Actually, that's not the reason why I'm here, uh, but I appreciate it, bro. Holy shit! A hundred dollars! <laughs> wow. God damn. No, he wasn't joking. That, that was... Oh my god, I have to pay all of these individually. And that, and that gold watch? Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! Alright, I have to try my luck though. I have more than enough money, do I not? That's not the one. No, that's not the one either. There's a specific one I'm trying to look for. No, that's not the one either. I'll find it eventually. <laughs> that's the one. The Chimera Keychain. Just out of curiosity, I can't sell... I can't sell the fedora or anything like that, right? No. Holy shit, that was a shit ton of money that I did waste though. But the Chimera Keychain. A portable... Cat? There's no way I could throw away any of these things either, right? Doesn't look like it. Alright, so I ended up beating Shopkeep over here in fucking the Clash... Uh, the Clash Pet Rocks, whatever it's fucking called. We've already said too much. As a price for your victory, take this. Nostalgic CD. Cool. Also, there's one veteran in Faraway Plaza who is stronger than even me. My boy said he was the strongest one and all of a sudden he's saying that there's a Giga Chad one. Some say that she may even be the strongest Clasher in the entire world. But, she is elusive and keeps her identity a mystery. Though, I'm sure if you found her now, she would be able to sense her strength as I have. If you choose to seek her out, you may regret it. But I won't be the one to stop you. Just be wary. He truly is a force to be reckoned with. You have been warned. Buddy, it's just fucking rock, paper, scissors. It's just fucking rock, paper, scissors. Also, did you say he- She was somewhere in faraway plaza? Well, that's- that's simple. Alright, I gotta- I just need to find- I just need to look all over the plaza to see if there's anyone who's stronger than you. Are you stronger? No. Are you stronger? No. 
You're not. Are you stronger? No. Are you? No. Are you stronger? No. How about you? No. You? No. I didn't even realize all three of them were female. <laughs> Until I actually looked at them, trying to look for this one veteran. You? No, you're just a cardboard cutout. You? I told you, Cursey. It's Smiley. Smiley! You? No. Oh. 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 Uh. <laughs> Hello. Other Mart Lady glares at your pet rock. Oh shit. Alright, I'm ready to clash. Where are we dealing like Oh my Oh my fucking god. You're joking me here, right? Alright, uh Rock Okay, rock didn't work. Uh if I did rock, then logically speaking, the next one would be paper. So that's why I'm going scissors. Fuck! All right, paper, paper. You went rock twice. I'm going paper. Loser. Are you really only going to go? To, are you really on, only going to go rock? Oh my god. This bitch is actually only going to go rock. No shot. No shot. Fuck! Damn it! Oh. Oh no, not this shit. Go rock again. Chew on rock. Chew on rock. Rock again. Go rock. Go rock. Go rock. Damn it. Scissors. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Rock. 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 Dude. He's go she's gonna go scissors. That means that means I go rock. Yes. 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 Okay. She's gonna go rock this time, right? Dude. Rock! You're joking me here! What the fuck? You're actually joking me! This is bullshit! Bro! She has nine fucking hearts! Nine fucking hearts! No! Oh my fucking god! Go paper again! Yes! <laughs> Let's go, baby! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you win. Take this. Ellie, you rock cat. Good job. <laughs> oh, you're damn right. I am the very best. Holy fucking shit. Where's my U Rock cap? A prestigious cap bestowed upon the Pet Rock champion. 100% cotton. Damn fucking straight. <laughs> uh, what do you have to say about that, shopkeep? I just bulldozed over the last person. The last line of defense. Alright. I'm not gonna say anything. All right, all right then. Fine then. Be like that. Be like that. All right. Here's another achievement that I need to get. Unfortunately, it's one that I don't want to do, but whatever. This is gonna be a lot more easier considering that fucking Kel's health is down to shitter. All right. I didn't want to do this, but who cares? Who the Fuck cares at this point in time. And there goes Kel. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Sunny. This... <laughs> Just guard. This was uneventful to say the least, but... If we, we, need, we gotta get these achievements. <laughs> you guys never stood a chance. Neither did my fucking controller. God damn it. So, uh, can we get that taffy now? Nerd! At least we got the achievement. 
Aw, oh, nuts. They took the big bag of candy while I wasn't looking. Hey, but to be fair, you did say that, um... You did say you were gonna give the big bag of candy at the very least, right? I mean, you did lose, so... I can't really imagine Aubrey at church. Yeah, well, you know what, buddy? Neither can I. What sucks, though, is that our health is also done to shitter as well. God. I don't think about it. Did I even beat Aubrey before? I don't think I did. I think I just lost against her. So I guess it's not going to be that bad. Alright, let's see if Aubrey actually does beat my ass. And hopefully, if she does, for the love of God, please don't... Please, for the love of God, I ask that you do not give me a game over. <laughs> I know Kel's immediately fucking dead. That that much is that much is <laughs> for for certain. All right, Sunny, we all know you're going down as well, so let let's just get this over with. All right, cool. I didn't I didn't fucking lose. Let's go. <laughs> That's what matters is that I didn't lose. <laughs> I mean, I guess I did lose the fight, but I, I, I didn't get the fucking game over. Like I did with... Who was it again? I already forgot. Who the fuck did I get a game over with? Oh, I remember. I got a fucking game over with Aubrey. <laughs> because I didn't want to use my knife. Oh, yes. His achievement too. I'm so sorry, Kel. I'm so fucking sorry. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Kel. Don't worry. Next time, I will give you a high five. I promise you that. But uh, I gotta get these achievements, you know? I think I found the true love of my life today. I hope he notices me. Ooh. Oh my god, it's fucking the Maverick. Ah, uh, if it isn't Kel and Sonny. You may have witnessed my humiliation earlier today. But now it is the time that I, the Maverick, redeem myself once again! Huh? What is this about now, Michael? Urgh, curse you and your cheeky attitude! Kel! I challenge thee to a race! Really? A race? I don't know... I'm pretty fast. Ha! That's what you say now. But just wait until you see the results of my training! I'm being serious, Michael. It's only fair to warn you. I'm fast. Like, really fast. Hey, I know. To make things a bit more even, you can use your scooter if you want. Don't you patronize me! Come on, Kel. You've been talking the talk, but can you walk the walk? Why don't you show me a real challenge? Uh, I'm gonna have to do this, aren't I? Sorry, Sonny. This will be really quick. Ready, set, go! <laughs> wow. <sighs> Wait, I, I want a rematch. I don't think so, Michael. I mean, it's getting kind of late, isn't it? <sighs> Uh. <laughs> Man drops the wig. Uh. Please. I must defend my honor. Uh. Maybe another time. Me and Senator are gonna go now. See you later, Michael. Well, that was useless. Okay, so I hope, hopefully, you weren't actually thinking that Maverick over here was your love of your life. Curse you, Kel. You haven't seen the last of the Maverick! Uh. Hey, what's good, G? Hmm. Confound it! I have no idea what I'm looking at here. Hey, you! You're young, right? Could a young guy like you help out an old guy like me? It's my son Jesse's 10th birthday tomorrow. And I'm hoping to get him something he'll actually like. Could you look around the store and pick something out for me? Uh... I don't know if about a comic. Maybe a DVD? Maybe not? I don't think playing cards are the thing. A brand new game console. It looks so shiny and sleek. 
Is that the one you're looking for? No? Then what the hell are you looking for, buddy? How about this? A new video game called Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. It's an M for Mature. Sure. So this here is what the kids are into these days. Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3? I mean, I can't say I understand the appeal, but okay. Here's a cool thing I found while I was sweeping earlier. You can have it. Ooh, I got a seashell. Gah! The game's price tag is... Oof. My wallet. Uh, well, as long as my son likes this, it'll be worth it. Alright, how much is it out of curiosity? Ah, Super Ultra Sprout Mole Eater Revenge of the Moles 3. A future classic. Hey, thanks for the help, pal. You know, I could use a consultant for things like this. My son doesn't like to talk about his hobbies with me, but I need to keep up with all this new fangled stuff somehow. I live in a small house on the street south from here. It's the one with the brown roof. Please come visit sometime. Uh, sure thing. I'll be a consultant for you, uh, momentarily. Alright, Mincy, found you once again. Hey, stranger, what you drawing this time? Hi, um, Kill! And Sunny, was it? Sorry, I'm not so good with names. I'm just trying to draw some fruit, but I'm not so good at it. Yes, you are. I don't like fruit very much, but I eat those for sure. You would too, wouldn't you, Sunny? Damn straight. <laughs> would you guys really? Uh, thank you. You're very welcome, Mincy. Keep going. You got this. He does indeed got this. Oh, uh, hey, uh, um, who are you? Oh, wait, never mind that. I've got an emergency here. So, uh, do you think you can help me out? Thanks, man. Well, what are you waiting for? Come inside. All right, what's your emergency, my G? Over here. Okay. Here's the side of the incident. I was just washing the dishes when suddenly my wedding ring fell off my finger and slipped into the drain. Crazy, right? You think this kind of thing only happens in movies? Luckily, my wife is still out for today and hasn't found out about it yet. I've been trying to get it for almost an hour and my fingers are starting to bruise. Uh, I really don't want to tell my wife or my daughter Sarah about this. I'll never hear the end of it. Could you guys please help me out? Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> please, I don't need a reason for my wife to be even more angry with me. Not something shiny in the sink and hook it up. The wedding ring. Oh, wow. It was that easy. That fucking easy. Hey, that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll never forget this. I promise. You and any of your friends are welcome here at any time. I think I may have mentioned this before, but I have a daughter about your age. Her name is Sarah. She's probably in her room right now. Hmm. All right, then. A bunch of coupon books. Oh. God, you're one of those people, aren't you? Alright, Mr. Orange Cat. I have some fish for you right over here. And he's gone. I got trash. Cool. But, on the bright side, I should have finished everything for the evening now. And in general, I should have finished everything for one day left, so... Ooh, Pog! Now we just gotta fucking do everything in headspace all over again. Up until two days left now. Oh lord.